ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you alway, even unto the end of the world. a world to be warned. To us has been entrusted this work. At any cost we must practice the truth. We are to stand as self-sacrificing minutemen, willing to suffer the loss of life itself, if need be, in the service of God. There is a great work to be done in a short time. We need to understand our work, and to do it with fidelity. Everyone who is finally crowned victor will, by noble, determined effort to serve God, have earned the right to be clothed with Christ's righteousness. To enter the crusade against Satan, bearing aloft the bloodstained banner of the cross of Christ, this is the duty of every Christian. The last years of probation are passing into eternity. The great day of the Lord is right upon us. Every energy we possess should now be used to arouse those dead in trespasses and sins. It is time that we gave heed to the teaching of the Word of God. All His injunctions are given to do us good. He calls upon those who stand under the bloodstained banner of Prince Emmanuel to give evidence that they realize their dependence on God and their accountability to Him by returning to Him a certain portion of that which He entrusts to them. This money is to be used in advancing the work that must be done to fulfill the commission given by Christ to his disciples. This work calls for self-sacrifice. Self-denial and the cross stand all along the way of life. He that will come after me, Christ said, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Those who secure the treasures of this world are obliged to toil and sacrifice. Should those who are seeking for an eternal reward think that they need make no sacrifices, the Review and Herald, January 31st, 1907. God is constantly bestowing upon you the blessings of this life, and if he asks you to dispense his gifts by helping the various branches of his work, it is for your own temporal and spiritual interest to do so, and thus acknowledge God as the giver of every blessing. God, as the master worker, cooperates with men in securing the means necessary for their sustenance, and he requires them to cooperate with him in the salvation of souls. He has placed in the hands of his servants the means wherewith to carry forward his work in home and foreign missions. But if only half the people do their duty, the treasury will not be supplied with the necessary funds, and many parts of the work of God must be left incomplete. Has not the time come when we should begin to cut down our possessions? May God help you who can do something now to make an investment in the bank of heaven. We do not ask a loan, but a free will offering, a return to the master of his own goods which he has lent you. If you love God supremely, and your neighbor as yourself, we believe you will give tangible proofs of the same in free will offerings for our mission work. There are souls to be saved, and may you be co-workers with Jesus Christ in saving these souls for whom Christ has given his life. The Lord will bless you in the good fruit you may bear to his glory. May the same Holy Spirit which inspired the Bible take possession of your hearts, leading you to love his word, which is spirit and life. May it open your eyes to discover the things of the Spirit of God. brothers and sisters in Christ. We are in Birmingham, as you can see right now, with a fantastic experience. The Lord has done something that is beyond expectation. Uh, in the words of William Carey, we are doing great things, and we expect great things, and God has just shown us the great things He can do when you um, put your arm into the arm of Jesus and do His work. It's called brothers. Right now, we have just finished, as you can see here, we are picking up because all the books we have uh, we'd come with, 
are all finished. Are all finished. We came here about 10 30 in the morning. We set up and now it's around three ish and we have just finished all the books. We are in great need of books. We have no books at the moment. And we are asking you to pray with us alongside with us and ask the Lord to provide the means and the resources so that we replenish the ministry. We have no books right now. As you can see, all these people, we can't appeal to them. They are just passing by unattended because we have nothing to issue. It is our prayer, and I hope it will be your prayer too, that soon and very soon we have sufficient books to give out. Look, there's great work to be done. The world is in, is in a turmoil, and each and every people or person we've been spoken to is acknowledging the fact that something stupendous is about to take place. And they are ignorant of what it is. You and I have our fingers on the right hand. We need to get the world to know what is just about to take place. The great controversy books are in dire we are in dire need of the book great controversy right now. I pray that the Lord will impress upon your heart and 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 and, 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 and you contribute to this um, the advance of his work through this ministry. God bless you as you pray and continue to support this ministry.